What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Walgreens exclusive Bizarro. Here we have Bizarro in the packaging. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get them open up, and then we'll have a better look at the figure inside. So stay tuned everyone. And so here we have Bizarro pose and out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at what Bizarro comes with, because he does come with quite a few accessories. For starters, he does come with a soft goods cape, which I really do like that it's soft goods, but I'm not a fan of the C-clamp that they use on it. Um, I don't know, it's something that the cape doesn't sit right, and then the C-clamp is so big and bulky, it just, it looks goofy in my honest opinion. But with the cape out of the way, he also does come with a vest that you can put over the cape and the sleeves are torn off and the vest has a lot of nice little detailing. He also does come with a tie that you can put on while he's wearing the vest and that looks really good. He also does come with a pair of glasses so he can be Clark Kent or Kent Clark whatever he wants to call himself. Bizarro also does come with his Bizarro number no. one necklace which does look really good and I am glad they threw it in there. And then he comes with two pairs of hands he comes with a pair of fists, and then he comes with a pair of flat open palm hands. So Bizarro here does have quite a few accessories, which I really do enjoy that. With his accessories out of the way, let's actually take a look at his detail. And so here we have a closer look at Bizarro, and I have to say I really do like the way the figure came out, but I do have one big issue with it, and that is the cape. Even though I am a fan of soft goods capes, I'm not a fan of this C-clip. Um, I don't know if you're old enough to know, but when I was growing up and we had Batman figures, Superman figures, they all came with C-clamp capes that you could just put on their neck and remove. It was a nice little gimmick back then, but this looks kind of bad. Uh, Bizarre's cape is actually supposed to fit into the costume, not over it like that, and... I don't know, it looks like he has a colored cape and it just doesn't look right. I'm all for soft goods capes, but only if they're done well. This isn't done well. I like the idea that they were going with, but I think if they were going to do this, they were probably better off giving us a plastic cape, uh, one that could maybe come off and on. I don't know, but that, I don't know, the seat clamp just doesn't work for me. But anyway, here we do have Bizarro, and they did a really good job with this figure. Now, taking a look at his face, you can see he does have some sculpt work, like his face is cracking. It's not, like, super cracked, but it also does have some subtle crack lines, so he does have that Bizarro-esque feel to him. I love the texturing on his paint. Just the way they went about it, it looks so good, and... You can really tell it's supposed to be Bizarro. Just the paintwork on his face and neck and hands is really, really top-notch. And I'm really disappointed Mattel is going to be losing the DC license. But overall, this is a really good figure and just shows that they can make good figures if they put the work in. You can see he does have his backwards S-Shield, which is really clean. I do appreciate a clean S-Shield. Even if it's Bizarro, it should still be clean. He is using the same arms that we saw with the Rebirth Superman, so he does have the cuffs, which I believe this is actually accurate to how he looks in Rebirth. He has the cuffs in Rebirth. I'll have to go back and check, but to my knowledge, that is actually accurate. Again, he's wearing the blue costume. It's not a really bright, vibrant blue. It's almost like a muted blue. It actually works for Bizarro because his colors are normally more muted. I know a lot of people would prefer having the purple emblem, but having the classic red and mute blue, it really does say a lot about this figure. You can see he does have the red trunks. And he also has a yellow belt. And just seeing this sculpt alone... I have my fingers crossed that maybe Mattel will be gracious enough to give us a classic Superman with the new articulation, but I might have my hopes too high. Hopefully we do end up getting it. Again, going all the way down. Now, this is another issue I have with the figure. He has painted on boots. Now, 
I know it's a cost-saving measure, but for an exclusive figure, give us sculpted boots. Like, he has some line work that you could have thrown in the boots. Just, why is it that he gets painted boots? Give us sculpted boots. Sculpted boots look much better than painted boots. It's still painted really nicely, with the exception of this one smudge on mine, which is a little bit unfortunate. It looks like a fingerprint, actually. This side, it's relatively clean, but you can see that there is a color difference between the paint red and the plastic red, so hopefully if they do give us a classic looking Superman, they fix this little issue. But as it stands, I really do like the way he came out again. Let's take a look at his hands, just so you can see how nice his hands look. They have that stone texture that Bizarro is known for, so I really do appreciate the amount of effort they put into Bizarro's paint job. So what we're going to do now is actually compare them to a few other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Bizarro pose next to a DC Multiverse Superman and a Marvel Legends Cyclops. Here we have Bizarro pose next to a DC Multiverse Collect and Connect Super Lex. Here we have Bizarro pose next to a DC Universe Classics Superman. And finally, here we have the Multiverse Bizarro pose next to San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Bizarro. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually take a look at his articulation. Now Bizarro here does have a ball hinge in the neck. Uh, I believe it's a ball hinge because he can go back a little bit. I know it is a type of ball joint, but a ball hinge, it might be. He does get some up and down movement. Uh, some slight tilt movement, and even with the cape on, you still get some good movement out of the head, so I do like that. And his head does turn left and right. One downside to the C-clamp is that when you turn his head, you also turn the cape. So, again, that, that could have been implemented better. Arms are on a ball joint, go out to about that far. They do a full 360, no issue there. Swivel at the bicep, single bend in the elbow. We have a swivel in the wrist. No hinge, unfortunately, and it's that way for both his sets of hands. He has an ab crunch, which goes back to about that far. He crunches forward about that far. Swivels at the waist. No issue there. Legs kick forward that much. They kick back that much. They go out all the way. Better than Marvel Legend figures, so I have to hand it to Mattel for making better outward movement. He does swivel at the thigh, no issues there. Double bend in the knee, goes up quite a bit. He has a hinge in the foot which goes back and forward. And unfortunately he has a swivel in the boot. Uh, no forward facing pin, but a swivel. Don't know why he has a swivel, he just does. But anyway, that's the Walgreens exclusive Bizarro for you guys. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Bizarro posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like the way this figure came out. I would have preferred him having a plastic cape rather than the C-clamp cape, or maybe even having both have him be able to be displayed with the C-clamp cape with the vest over, and then have a plastic cape for when you don't want to have him displayed with it. Overall, I still like the way this figure came out. He has a lot of nice, interesting, and unique accessories that you can actually have a lot of fun displaying this guy. Now, Bizarro here is a Walgreens exclusive figure. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find him at any Walgreens, but the good folks at Black Sheep Comics were able to track one down for me, and I was able to review it for you guys. So, huge shout out to the ladies of Black Sheep Comics. If you are looking for Bizarro, he is going to run you about $19.99, which is going to run you about $22 with tax. If you can find Bizarro, definitely add him to your collection. I think this is a must-have figure for any DC Multiverse fan or any fan of the Bizarro character. With that being said, guys, this is King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other DC Multiverse figures. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.